What then became crucial, Thierry, is we're getting back to the skills. Now, the skills and education, higher education, should, I mean, if education is about nothing, certainly at postgraduate level, it's about teaching people to think critically. You know, th th there's nothing else. It's not about the content. It's about how you engage with the content. It's about what you do with it. It's about how you critique it. It's about how you adapt it. It's about how you use it. And it's about how you reflect on it. You know, and that, 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 those are the skills, the very skills that I think uh, in our connected, information-rich world. I once heard Susan Greenfield, a uh, much derided um, neurologist. Um, I, I, I don't deride her. I think all she does is ask questions. And, and here's another thing on the internet, critical thinking, asking questions is a dangerous thing sometimes because it takes you against the flow. And if you go against the flow, my God, people are going to cut you right down. So she... Uh, you know, she has been painted, I think, as being this bad woman who says, oh, social technologies are bad for you, they change your brain. No, what she's saying is, let's ask a question, that when children are young and their minds are malleable, let's just be careful. Let's just, let's just, so she, but anyway, she said that we live in an information-rich world and a question-poor world, and I think that is absolutely right. And that phrase information rich question poor that to me cuts to the heart of education higher education in particular because it's about teaching us to ask questions and it's about teaching us to frame questions it's about teaching us to select what we're going to pay attention to and this i mean for me this goes all the way back to my undergraduate days i i was i i was out of i went to university late so i was in my mid 20s by the time i went to to um to Warwick, and I remember doing um, you, the, the history of the Industrial Revolution as one of my electives, and I learned more from that than probably anything. And I'll remember one particular tutorial, and uh, Maxine, she, um, we, we were looking at a paper, and this paper was about the contribution that. Um, the cotton industry had made to the industrial revolution and and had you know the dynamics of the industrial revolution and and it was it was you know it was pivotal actually from memory from memory the statistic that was being thrown around then and uh, it's probably wrong but let's just use it for a safe of example was that the cotton industry um, was contributing between five and ten percent of GDP at that point. Other commentators, other academics were saying this was significant. This paper that we were reading um, was by an author who said that the cotton industry was only contributing between 5 and 10% to GDP. Maxine said to us, do you notice anything about that? And we all went, no. She said, do not ever, 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 ever anybody let that do. She said, if you remember nothing, and, and I, I picked it up, she said, that we were only has changed it, changed it entirely. And it turned out that this particular academic, and she'd given us this paper to read specifically, was well known for having racist tendencies. You know, so it, it's very, very interesting. What she was teaching us was, who's telling you what? What are they not telling you? What's the language that they're using? And that that word only entirely changed the meaning because, you know, it was like, well, it's only five or 10% really, isn't it? So, getting back to your question about education, education, formal education has been failing if it hasn't taught people how to interrogate data, how to interrogate information, how to make sense of information, how to look for bias and how to test it. That there's no other purpose of either doing an undergraduate or a postgraduate degree. And if we find ourselves now in a situation where critical thinking skills are, are, are lacking, then higher education has been lacking.